2.51. Next in our list of things that you thought were bad for you is chocolate. Jane, our food expert, is going to tell us why actually it can be good for us. Well, there have been a lot of studies recently about chocolate. Remember, chocolate is something that we've been eating for hundreds of years. It's not a modern invention. And the studies show that chocolate, like grape juice, contains antioxidants. In fact, chocolate has more antioxidants than grape juice. These antioxidants can protect us against illnesses like heart disease. Really? Yes. But, and this is very important, all the good antioxidants are only in dark chocolate. So don't eat milk chocolate or white chocolate. They aren't healthy at all. And of course, you also need to remember that although dark chocolate is good for you, it contains a lot of calories. So if you're worried about your weight, don't eat too much. One or two pieces a day is enough. Great news for me because I love chocolate. And now to Tony, our TV journalist. Tony, newspaper articles are always telling us about studies that say that we watch too much TV, that we spend too much time sitting in front of the TV, and that as a result, we don't exercise enough. They also say that watching TV makes us stupid. Is this all true, Tony? Well... It's almost certainly true that we watch too much television, but it probably isn't true that watching TV makes us stupid. I've just finished reading a book by a science writer, Stephen Johnson, called Everything Bad is Good for You. One thing he says in his book is that modern TV series like The Sopranos or House or Mad Men are more intellectually stimulating than TV series were 20 years ago. He says that these shows are complicated and very smart, and that they help to make us more intelligent. Well, I can believe that. But what about reality shows that are so popular on TV? I can't believe that these are good for us. Well, Stephen Johnson says that we can even learn something from reality shows. He says this kind of TV show can teach us about group psychology, about how people behave when they are in a group. Well, thank you, Tony and Jane. So now you know what to do this evening. You can sit down in front of the TV with a box of dark chocolates.